Okay, now that dessert's done, I'm going to move on to the dinner dishes themselves. And first, we're going to make potatoes. Not just any potatoes, scallop potatoes. Not just any scallop potatoes, over the top scallop potatoes. And I'm telling you what, these are incredibly delicious. You are going to absolutely fall in love. They're perfect for any spring dinner, lunch, brunch, whatever you got planned. I have some heavy cream and half and half in this saucepan, and I've just been warming it up. I'm not going to bring it to a boil or anything, it just needs to be warm. And I sprinkled in some salt and pepper, and I'm going to add a little bit of flour. And this is just a mixture that will kind of provide the cream base for the scallop potatoes. So it's not very much flour, just enough to make the whole mixture really thick. Scallop potatoes are such a quintessential spring side dish. I don't know why necessarily, they're just amazing. I love serving them for like Easter dinner, Easter brunch, and they go with everything. I'm making lamb chops, as I said, but they go so great with ham, beef, anything you wanna make. Okay, that little cream base is ready, nice and warm. So I'm going to start assembling the potato dish. I'm using a very generously buttered baking dish. And I have a whole bunch of sliced potatoes. They were sliced on a mandolin just to get them really super thin. And that's what makes this potato dish so wonderful. First of all, it gives the potatoes a chance to actually cook and get tender. If they're too thick, you kind of have to bake it for too long and it just becomes kind of a chore, but they also create this incredible, this layered potato vibe. So good. All right, so I'm putting about a third of the potatoes in the dish first, and I also have a mixture of bacon and caramelized onions. I just fried some bacon, added some butter, and cooked onions with the bacon until, as you can see, they're just golden and incredibly flavorful. This really packs a punch because it's just been caramelized for so long. So you don't have to add very much to each layer for it to really add that flavor. And I have two different cheeses, Fontina. I'll add a third of that. And Gruyere, a third of that. And then I'll go back to my little saucepan of cream and half and half, flour, salt, and pepper. And I'm gonna pour a third of this over the potatoes. Now you could pour this on at the very end, but I like actually pouring it on in layers so you can be sure that everything gets totally coated in the cream. Okay, so that's one layer. I'm gonna do two more exactly like this. So here goes with layer two. Potatoes, bacon and onion, the cheeses, Fontina and Gruyere, and a third of the cream mixture. Then it's more of the same, adding layers of potatoey, bacony deliciousness, the rest of the cheese, and the cream. I'm going to cover the dish with foil. You cannot imagine how good it smells already. So it is going to just fill the kitchen with delicious smells the whole time it's baking. So these are going to bake at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes, and then I'll take the foil off and let it go for another 20. Then I'll take the scalloped potatoes out of the oven and put them on the counter to rest. So for me, I would probably get two lamb chops and plenty of these creamy, over-the-top scalloped potatoes. And you want to get plenty of that top crust with that cheese. Ooh my gosh, perfect, perfect size. And some of these magical roasted carrots and radishes. Make sure I get plenty of everything. <laughs> oh, it does not get more gorgeous than this.